right, so we finally got some snow. We're out here plowing. So the the short story is a friend of mine, he's got a lot of snow accounts. He usually has a couple of different trucks going. Had a truck break down, so we're helping him. He's gonna help me, and uh, we're kind of double teaming uh, everything. So that's what we're doing, and this is here is a very big parking lot. So he's driving his truck over here, and one of his guys is driving my truck right there. And we're gonna try to get some good footage. Hey, there's something there. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron, he's a pretty good guy. That there is Austin. I think he's a little camera shy. Good guy though. You're not camera shy, are you? Not at all. So Austin is actually the guy that I went in partners with with the Lawn and Landscape Supply Store. So that's my business partner for that business. So his truck is lit up way, way better than mine. I need to get mine looking like that.
it's just one of those things where you wait for it, you wait for it, you wait for it, and finally it's here and it's kind of perfect conditions. Usually, usually when you're waiting for it and you know, usually it's kind of a bummer. This is this is exciting to me, and I know a lot of you guys are probably like, well, you know, we do this all the time, but this is kind of my first big snow, so that's what makes this real exciting. I think five or six more of his properties so we still got a lot a lot going on but like I said guys this is just kind of exciting I know eventually it's gonna kind of get monotonous boring or whatever you want to call it but for me I'm having a good old time the amount of snow that we originally thought they were saying three to five inches but it looks like it's kind of tapering off but it's still enough to plow I'm happy for that like I said you know you guys have been hearing me talk about this for a long time So this is very exciting to me because of that, because we haven't gotten out and we haven't got to use the plow. I actually plowed four parking lots before we got to this one and just having a blast. It's really not that cold out. Getting to plow, getting to make some money, you can't beat it. so far but this is about four yeah about four from the last time I, I video that's about all I can tell you uh, starting to get a little tired but still not too bad we're still having a little bit of fun 
but you could tell the the jokes the banter that kind of stuff it's kind of died down a little bit because everybody's starting to get a little bit hungry and tired and all that kind of stuff but what are you gonna do so we still actually have a lot left to do uh, probably a good seven or eight left to do so it's gonna be a long night but luckily I think we got the big ones out of the way and uh, you know these these don't take very long especially with two trucks so we had uh, we just got done doing a Casey's uh, general store it's a gas station around here and I had no idea what time it was and I was shoveling the sidewalks and I'm starving I, I haven't eaten in I don't know how long but uh, it's been a while but anyway my plan was to shovel and then go inside and grab something to eat real quick well I get about halfway done and I'm right in front of the uh, the Casey store and they're locking their doors and they're leaving and I said whoa what are you guys doing it's a little early to be uh, to be shutting the place down they said well sir it's one o'clock we close at one o'clock in the morning and I was like holy crap it's one o'clock in the morning are you kidding me <sighs> so needless to say I'm still hungry Sonic is sounding really good right now but obviously they're closed as well I'm gonna have to talk to these guys in to stop and get something to eat. This fat boy is hungry. We started about five in the evening. I got to my house at 4.30 in the morning. They actually still had a few more hours left, had a few more parking lots to go do, but I had to at least get a few hours of sleep because I was scheduled to get on a plane and fly to Dallas at 10 a.m. and I uh, still had to take my kids to school and all that kind of stuff. So I literally got about two and a half, maybe three hours worth of sleep and then we're off to the next adventure. And I got some videos coming up. I spent two days with a lawn care millionaire. And I'm telling you what, two days of priceless information and getting to ask him anything I wanted and all that kind of stuff. And it was just amazing to go visit him. And I, I got some stuff coming up with him, um, some videos coming up here in probably a couple days to where we talked about kind of the situation I was in last year coming into this year where I kind of grew my company up, but I didn't really like like the way my company looked. I didn't like the atmosphere. I didn't like uh, too many things about my company. And it turns out that he went through something similar in his business. He built it up to a certain point. He didn't like it. He ended up scaling back down and restructuring everything. And that's when he really took off. So that really, that really resonated with me when he told me that story. And I got it on film. And we're going to share that with you guys here in a video coming up really soon. But guys, thank you again. Appreciate it. We'll see you later.